Hello, it's Mrs. Rouse with our second video of the day. In this video, we are going to add a details to the roof of the house and uh, more details to the house coming up soon. So in addition to your drawing, which we started in the last video, we all set them up pretty much exactly the same, just because some of our details are that much more detailed. Uh, but we also need a piece of um, artist tape. If you don't have artist tape, use another type of tape that maybe doesn't rip, you know, so kind of cheap tape or something, uh, blue tape if you don't push it on too hard. I remember I gave you some wrapped around a pencil. It was this tape that you guys had. So um, we need just a little bit of that. And then we need a piece of newsprint. If you don't have this newsprint paper anymore, we'll just have to get another piece of drawing paper out. That would be fine. But we just need a cheap piece of paper. So large piece of newsprint. And then the rest of the supplies are about the same. Okay, what we're going to do, and I'm going to move some of my very exciting things out of the way now. What we're going to do is we're going to put in what's called a gabled roof or a pointed roof on the on top. But there are some details uh, that we're putting in which are going to be actually quite cool. So the gabled roof is going to come to a point over here on this side above the house. So the first thing we need to do is we want this to be centered. So we're going to go ahead and cross these two diagonals on the smaller side of the house cross the two diagonals. They should cross right over that horizon line. And then uh, that's a light line. It's just a reference line in your drawing. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and do the front side. We won't need this for a while, but we'll need it later. So let's just cross these two diagonals as well. Okay. We'll get to that side later. Okay, so the peak of the house is going to be centered right over this point. So we're just going to take this point and um, this midpoint and take it up over the house. Now I'd like this roof to be this one side just because it, it kind of works out that way to look really, really great. So uh, and it makes the house, if it's a little smaller, it makes the house look bigger. So I would say somewhere I'm looking on a couple of my drawings right here um, it's kind of fun to work with if this is line right here is two inches long so let's see if I I didn't even draw it quite it's going to be a plenty large roof two inches is right here I'm going to extend my mind just a little bit more so two inches tall this line here and it's right above the midpoint so um almost off the width of the pencil I could tell. So okay, two inches, two inches tall, right above the midpoint on the small side of the house. Okay, I'm gonna erase this. So this is the peak of the roof. Obviously the peak goes down to the corners. So let's go ahead and draw in these two corners. So this is all quite lovely and no brainer and you could have done this without me. Uh, now the top of the house, like everything on the right side goes to the right side vanishing point. Everything on the left side goes to the left vanishing point. So this roof line here will go along to this left vanishing point. My angle doesn't reach that far. So either use this long um, angle if you have one or use your ruler. Make sure this is an accurate line that will make a difference. The top of the roof going over to the left vanishing point. Okay, now we have a problem. What? What do we do here? Who, who said that? I don't know. What do we do here at this corner? Um, if on the mailbox, uh, we had a similar situation, I said, oh, just estimate, but we could go find it. Actually, we could use that method to go find it. I could find the bottom of the inside of the house find the middle, go straight up from the middle where it hits this line would be the point and then we'll go down. I could find that, but then it, it only helps me for that one detail. What if I want details up here on this roof? Now this roof is not um, set up just in regular two point perspective. It's set up and then it's angled away from me again. So I need to get to that roof, kind of like it was hard to get to the top of the doghouse, but the top of the doghouse was flat. 
Here we've got something at an angle tucked away. So this is a very different situation. And what we actually need for this is dun, 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 a third vanishing point. We're going to do part of the drawing in three-point perspective because it's going to get smaller and smaller as it goes up the roof. So details down here are larger and details get smaller as they go up the roof. We know this line is angled up this way. We don't know exactly where it goes. And also be nice to do some details on the roof. So let's show you how we're going to go find this line. First, you're going to take this extra piece of paper I asked you to get. Whether or not um, it's used print or not, it doesn't really matter. I want you to put it behind your piece of paper so it goes up vertically. Let's see if I can move this any further away, just for a couple minutes. Yeah, I got this a little further away. Okay, um, so this needs to be down here um, below the vanishing point, and then it needs to go way up high. This is a vertical situation. So I'm going to put this on the back side of my drawing here, and I'm going to tape it down. So like I said, I have a tall piece of paper that I've um, taped behind my drawing because I need to access something. You can see where this line's going up here somewhere. I need to access something that's up here taller than my drawing. Well, to find this three third point, it already exists because my roof is already going towards it. It's already getting smaller and smaller. Here's a reference to it right here, to this third point. Well, to find it exactly, we actually, what we do is we use our vanishing point over here on the right side. We take um, our angle, you can use the angle kind of like twice for this. We take our angle, put our pencil on it, and we go vertically, and you just keep drawing right up the drawing, above the drawing, and you keep this line going. So draw a vertical line from this vanishing point that goes way up that drawing. And if it ends up not being long enough, then we just have to get it further up there. By the way, when you put tape on the back side, make sure there's two pieces of tape because it can't wiggle. It has to be adjusted pretty sturdy. It has to be go to the right place. So we know that this line here is pointing towards the third point. We know it has something to do with this right vanishing point. So yeah, we're going to take this angle up until it intersects with this line that's vertical from the right, but the right vanishing point is telling us what to do. So um, you can take, I'll just use my ruler this time because you don't have angles at home. I'm going to take this, I'm going to reference the angle of this line right here. Get it just right. I'm going to draw a dotted line up the paper to remind you how I found it. So I took that line and I drew it way up. It's exactly this angle. I didn't like, some people take it and they just go from that point and pick a spot. It's this angle. This is it a tangent that goes up this way, lined it up, and there it is. I'm going to draw my other line very slightly longer. Just happened to end at the same place, and that wasn't like a magical thing. It just did that, so it got longer, so looks less magical. So way up here above the house, this is my third vanishing point. So we're now working with a, something really specific, really kind of different. Most of this drawing will be in two point, except for what we're going to be doing to the roof of the house. So what we're going to do, now we know where the angle of the house goes. It gets smaller and smaller up to this third vanishing point. It also relates to both of the other vanishing points. Now what we're going to do is take this corner here, the far corner at the top of the house, and also draw it towards that third vanishing point. So the corner right here, all the way up to the third vanishing point. So I'm just going to draw the line, and then I'm drawing a dotted line to remind you where I went with this. So this line here also goes to that third point. In fact, any lines that I put on the roof that were technically vertical or going up the roof are going to go to this third vanishing point. That's what makes it sit well in the drawing. Okay, take a second to clean up anything in your drawing that needs cleaning up. So we're going to do a couple fun things up on the roof uh, while we're there, while we have a reference point. 
Um, it's kind of a fun detail. And this has applications. If you ever are somewhere on something that has an unusual angle, you find the, the, the third vanishing point, you find the point for that angle, and then you can do your details. Uh, before we move on, we're going to add a chimney uh, to the middle of the roof. Now, the reason we're adding it there is because it's too easy <laughs> to add it at the other locations. I wanted you to have to work for it just a little bit. And then, um, then we'll get it. My clicker pencil just ran out of clicking. So I'm going to switch to my PB. Just sorry, you guys. Just one second. Okay. So um, we're going to put this chimney in the middle of the roof. So I'm going to draw from this vanishing point. I'm just finding the middle of the roof right now. Uh, it says that the chimney was inside the house. Like maybe there's a pretty living room and the chimney's in the living room. So here's the middle of my roof. I crossed my two diagonals. I didn't just draw an X up there. It's my diagonals crossed. And then the base of the chimney, if you were looking right at the house, would be horizontal, but this is in perspective. So the base of the chimney's going to go to this left vanishing point. I'm going to center it over the middle of the house. I'm just going to draw a little line here. So this is going to be the base of my chimney. It's going to be kind of large because I want you to see the details. So I um, found the middle of the roof and I drew a line to the left vanishing point. It's going to be the base of our chimney. Um, just because you can start having some fun with this stuff. Perspective. We need t-shirts that say perspective. It's fun. I'm cleaning up my drawing again. Okay. My, you can make yours a little smaller if you want to. Now from this point, um, I can uh, draw some vertical lines from my chimney. This will be the front side of the chimney. I'm going to make it look a little bit taller than the house because I think it will look better that way. So a little bit taller than the house. And then I'm going to erase this line on the inside of the chimney. So however you, wide you wanted your I'm probably not larger than mine. Mine's a little bit big. But um, I just wanted you to be able to see it pretty well. The top of the chimney is going down here to the left vanishing point. Remember the lines are either vertical or they're going to vanishing points. With the exception on the roof, we now use this vanishing point. Okay, so the chimney is above us. So the top of the chimney, if it's square, is going to angle down. You know, it's going to point down because of our location. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this corner here and bring the chimney down towards us. Okay. And then, you guessed it, something exciting is going to happen. I have this line coming down. I'm kind of squaring off this chimney. But instead of sitting on the ground or kind of floating in the air like we usually have it, the chimney is sitting on an angled surface. So how do I find this line here? It's not going to be horizontal. It's not going to go to this vanishing point. It definitely doesn't go to this vanishing point. Yep, you got it. It goes up here to the third vanishing point. So because it's sitting on this angled surface. So the base from the main line in the chimney we're going up towards the third vanishing point. And there we have a chimney on the house that looks super realistic. Now, if I wanted to really quick, I could put some details on the chimney. Um, I'm going to, um, I think I'll put like, sometimes there's a big capstone on it. So now we're just, we're kind of just in two point perspective right now, with the exception of this one line here. So let's say I wanted bricks or something. I could draw bricks. Um, we've done bricks. You know what? I'll just draw some rocks. I think that might look cool. So in different shapes and so on, making a rock, making a chimney. And if I wanted it more 3D, I could, um, I could just shade one side of it and give it a little bit more of a, 3D look. Okay, so there's my chimney. You want to make nice looking smoke. It takes the side of your 2B pencil. It won't work as well with a 2H and just using the side of my pencil, I'm just going to wiggle some lines up. It's really got a good fire going. Okay, so there's my chimney. Okay, 
with a lot of smoke. There's a fire in the house. But what's cool is now that we're up here, now that we have the vanishing point, we're gonna put a roof on our house. There's basically two types of roofs I'm gonna show you, and then uh, you're gonna decide which type of roof, and then I'll tell you how to do it. Um, my drawing is gonna look sort of like this. We'll have shingles on one side and then tiles on the other. I'm gonna show you how to do both. We're just gonna choose one, one or the other. So here's two samples for you. Here's a house, I'll make this larger. Here's a house with a shingle type roof. And here's a house with uh, roofing tiles on it. So which, which version do you like? And then there's versions of both of these, but that's basically your two choices for most roofs or one or the other. So um, if you were going to do the tile roof, uh, the ceramic tiles, um, what you would do is you'd have lines going up to the third vanishing point. Since it's a small detail, I'm not gonna use the pencil to measure these out, but um, you could do that thing we did on the roof of a doghouse. That would be this extra step you have to take. So you're gonna start just with lines going um, up the roof towards that third vanishing point. Remember they are not, 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 not parallel to each other, <gasps> bad word, but that they go up the roof to the third vanishing point. So you would do this all the way across the roof and this one gets closer and closer together. So if I was doing a tile type roof, what I would do is here at the bottom, I would draw those tiles in at the top, they have kind of like a cap thing that goes like this, and they overlap each other sideways. On the other side, you would see tiles coming down like this. So they kind of overlap each other. And then here, going up the roof, sometimes they're very regular looking, and sometimes they're kind of not quite all the same size and that would probably be the one I would draw because it's more expensive that way that means they're made out of real ceramic tiles that um, someone bought and then placed together as they needed the different sizes. So I'm just drawing little half circles and this shows you little um, layered ceramic tiles kind of drawn, get a little circle motion going on up there at the top going up the house. I like drawing them in different, slightly different locations. Okay, so that's how you would do that type of roof all the way across. Now the other type of roof, more of a shingle look, it's going to refer to the left side vanishing point, but also the third point. And it's not that much harder to put in. If you want, you just put your um, reference lines from the left side vanishing point going across the roof and they would probably be smaller as they got up. I'm not sure I'm doing an amazing job of that. The tinier you can make this detail, the better it's going to look. And then there's going to be a little bit more angle as we get further and further down this house, right? So the angle changes a little bit. But oh, they're not, remember, not parallel. Don't think it but their relationship with each other is they all go to the vanishing point. Now to finish off this type of a roof, you're doing one roof or the other, you don't have to do both, is I have to cross these over, but I don't cross them like you normally would vertically. I use, I reference the um, third vanishing point for these. Now if I want them super regular looking, I can do something like this, but I want them to look like wood, so I'm going to try and have it be not quite so regular. Um, so I'm purposely uh, messing it up a little bit right now. But the direction of the lines is definitely um, going up towards the upper third vanishing point. So you can do kind of a checkerboard thing, or you can do um, you know, however it is you want to arrange these, but the, make sure the lines you're putting in are not, um, they're not vertical, they're going up to the third point. And so it has a really nice look to it. Um, to make it look even more realistic, let's get a little closer here. 
what I would probably do is I would um, go in with my pencil and add some accents or some kind of wiggling lines here and there. So it's slightly less perfect and maybe looks like actual wood. And then I can add a few other of my own lines coming down once this thing is started. So I'm trying to make it look like it's actually wooden shingles. Um, if you wanted it to look like fabricated shingles, like that's what I have on my house, then you want that really evenly measured out, you know, or the appearance of that. But I kind of wanted to try a more of a wooden look and then definitely scraggling here on the edge. And then they're also going to have some flat overlapping on the top, like these did on the flat. So you're choosing either one of these tops for your house, either one of these roofs. I also wanted to show you, um, you can also add other things up there. Um, here's a drawing that has um, a radio, key, whatever that is, <laughs> receiver. Here's a little skylight. You can add different things up there on your drawing. Anytime you want, you just erase out something if there's not room for it. Or, um, you know, you can, you can do your extra drawing. You have to leave this paper here until you're done drawing on the roof. Um, so whichever way you decide to detail it, have fun. If you want to add extra things up there, um, probably do it at this time because of the third vanishing point. So that, that's all I have in this video. Next video, we're going to do some other details.